Okay, welcome back. Uh, my name is Luke Muller, and this is the third video in a series. In the first video, we learnt the bluegrass or the fiddle tune, um, Red Haired Boy, uh, and we played it in the key of A. At the end of that video, we had a rhythm track on mandolin that you could play along to. The second video, we talked about different ways of working through, um, or different ways of practicing how I would first approach this tune uh, and we had a bunch of different exercises and ways just to get comfortable in the key of A and playing through the different chords that are in this tune E, D and G. Uh, so second video was practice ideas. This video um, I'm going to try and apply some of those ideas through this tune um, and come up with different ways to make the tune sound cooler or um, just some other little solo ideas in this. Um, so the first thing we can do is um, play with some of those, those chords. Um, just because it's a violin doesn't mean it has to be all single notes. Uh, so we could be... This goes to a D chord here, I could play... So that's F sharp and D, a double stop out of D major. So that would sound like this. Into the G chord. So just start playing around with where you can put some double stops, uh, trying to fill out the harmony of those chords. And they already it already sounds um, a little more complex or a little cooler um, to play around with. Um, you'll find in the B section I did something here. I changed the melody slightly. So the melody is... did was play around with some double stops and chords and a rhythmic okay or you'll something similar with an open A string next to it. Gives it that drony sound. Okay. Um, other little ideas. Um, start trying to play around with the melody a little. So try and um, waver off the path of the melody for a bar and then come back to it. Uh, let's see if we could do this, find an example. So, melody, off a bit. Back to melody, stray a little bit, back to melody, so try playing around like that, see if you can get through the whole tune um, just by um, playing around with uh, the melody a bit. So let's see if we can do this.
so that might be um, that's exaggerating finding ways you can get around it using a lot of neighbor notes <coughs> neighbor notes meaning a half step in either direction from the melody note <coughs> all right so <coughs> kind of cool easy ways to get through that um, and then you can find uh, little spots where you can find little variations uh, like on the B section okay Just very quickly, that little one, that's like a little classic lick in um, bluegrassy fiddly tunes. So we're going from a C natural to a C sharp. Okay. And you've got to get the bowing right with that one too. Uh, flat B natural to the D okay so up to speed some ideas there for you and uh, always happy to hear any comments or questions that you may have. Cheers.